You are listening to the Daily Gospel Reflections with Sister Cloth. This podcast is brought to you by the Pauline's Multimedia. It is our mission to bring the Word of God to all peoples through sounds and images, voices, and music. Come and join us as we share with you a thought a day. Our reading for today is taken from the account of St. John, chapter 13, verses 21 to 33 and 36 to 38. Reclining a table with his disciples, Jesus was deeply troubled and testified, Amen, amen, I say to you, one of you will betray me. One of his disciples, the one whom Jesus loved, was reclining at Jesus' side. So Simon Peter nodded to him to find out whom he meant. He leaned back against Jesus' chest and said to him, Master, who is it? Jesus answered, It is the one to whom I hand the morsel after I have dipped it. So he dipped the morsel and took it and handed it to Judas, son of Simon the Iscariot. After Judas took the morsel, Satan entered him. So Jesus said to him, What you are going to do, do quickly. So Judas took the morsel and left at once, and it was night. When he had left, Jesus said, Now is the Son of Man glorified, and God is glorified in him. If God is glorified in him, God will also glorify him in himself, and he will glorify him at once. My children, I will be with you only a little while longer. You will look for me, and as I told the Jews, where I go, you cannot come. So now I say to you. Simon Peter said to him, Master, where are you going? Jesus answered him, Where I am going, you cannot follow me now, though you will follow later. Peter said to him, Master, why can I not follow you now? I will lay down my life for you. Jesus answered, Will you lay down your life for me? Amen, amen, I say to you, the cock will not crow before you deny me three times. It is Tuesday of the Holy Week. If you felt the pang of sadness yesterday as Jesus foreshadowed his imminent death, today we lament the fact that Judas betrays Jesus. The Gospel says, Reclining at the table with his disciples, Jesus was troubled and testified, Amen, amen, I say to you, one of you will betray me. Let us imagine being betrayed by someone we thought was a friend, someone we learned to love, and someone we shared part of our life with. How would we feel? Feelings of shock, anger, rejection, humiliation, and probably even feeling vindictive. The reading says, Jesus was deeply troubled to show us that he too was human. He also had a human heart that genuinely loved Judas with supernatural love as one of his chosen apostles. He was afflicted and grieved probably not because Judas broke his trust, but because Judas decided to do the wrong thing with his gift of free will. He delivered him up and sold him out in favor of material gain. At this point, I feel guilty, and many of us might feel the same. Why? Because there are many ways in which we too play Judas when we turn our back on righteousness and deliberately choose to disobey the commandments and the inner voice of our conscience. Or sometimes we neglect our Christian obligations 
in favor of worldly pleasures, comforts, and benefits. If Jesus did not love Judas, the pain of betrayal would not have been that painful. And so with us, Jesus loves us so much beyond our understanding. So it pains him each time we turn our back on him. During this Holy Week, we are continually invited to take time out for introspection, spend some moments looking inward, and think about our actions and inner thoughts. We try to check on what we say and do, what we think and feel, how our life affects our relationship with others, and, more importantly, our relationship with Jesus and God, our loving Father. May the Holy Spirit continue to enlighten us these days of the Holy Week, and may Our Lady of Sorrows be our guide. Amen. Be with us again tomorrow as we share with you a thought a day. Meanwhile, you can follow us and listen to other Apple and Google podcasts on Spotify, produced by Pauline's Multimedia. Have a good day.